is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have decided that I really want to do my sister-in-law's wedding in the rest of the Midnight Collection that I have from Coco Vanilla. So that is what I'm going to do. So I should have two videos for you, and I ended up killing this kit this uh, month. So I'll kind of have two kill a kit. So that's exciting. So this is a picture of my sister-in-law and my daughter who was the flower girl. And she had, my sister-in-law had a crown made of crystals. And um, because that's kind of what her husband does. He, um, he's like a gem person and has like an Etsy shop and that type of thing. So I thought it was super fun that there was like this gem project life card and that gem die cut piece. So originally I was going to use the two photos, which are exactly the same. I actually had just printed them twice and I was going to layer them, but I couldn't really figure out how to make that work. So I will only use the one photo. And I'm using this beautiful floral background, but I wanted to give it a little extra pizzazz. So I thought I would go with some of the sparkle like in her crown. So I'm using uh, this gold, what is it called? It's kind of getting dried up. Um, so it was a little hard to move around. I bet I could add some water to it. Um, but I did get this from Christina from Redefine Creative and it is called glitter kiss and the color is golden sand kiss so it definitely adds some texture as well um so i used the paintbrush and i used the little dauber um and then i put the photo on as well as the project life card to kind of see if you can see it because I didn't really want to cover it all up. I really did want to see some of that. So I am doing two of the cards from the cut apart sheet. So, and I am ruffling up the edges with my close to my heart distress tool. And so one is that super fun gem with the, with like flowers on the bottom. So I kind of felt like that really represented both of them. And then I'm using the card that says the live the life you love. So um, that is really important, I think, for any wedding um, photo um, is really like this is the beginning. Like <laughs> this is the beginning of your life. Um, it's just one day. So I am going to take this cut apart, no, the a die cut piece and cut it in half so I can use it on the top and the bottom. And there was this little die cut piece that had and, the little ampersand and, and I decided that I was going to figure out a title that I could use that with. So I went ahead with these thickers that say hugs and kisses because she's kind of, they're kind of hugging on each other, which I thought was cute. Um, so that is going to be my title and that brings the gold into a different part of the layout as well. So I have a couple of other pieces. I have this chipboard floral that I am going to add to bring a little bit more of the florals around. I am going to add the chipboard hearts as well as the die cut heart. And then I am going to add a floral to the bottom as well as um, a label piece and this little like, um, I don't, I, they're a clear sticker, but they're colored. So it almost looks like watercolor, which is really kind of fun since the background paper is very neutral. Um, I'm okay with having the colors shine through with the exception of this floral right here. 
So it looked funny with the floral on the back, so I just attached it to a scrap piece of white paper and fussy cut it out. I do have that label sticker up top that says, or it's a tab, that says best ever and a fun bow from my kit. And I'm getting to use some of those word stickers. And I use one that says sweetest and one that says beautiful and one that says lovely. Then I am going to use the exceed the oh, the sequin pack that is exclusive to the secret not secret kit club that Spiegel Mam Straps designed and put those in a couple of areas for the centers of the florals as well as the gem. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. And remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.